Let's look at another example involving Green's theorem. What we want to do is evaluate the line integral uh, e to the x cosine 2y dx minus 2 e to the x sine 2y dy about the curve c, where c is just the circle centered at the origin of radius a, something like this. And of course, we select the positive orientation. So as we traverse the curve, the region, which I've shaded in green, lies to the left. And so now when you look at this problem, you're going to figure out that it actually is a fundamental uh, theorem problem, but Green's theorem is, is adequate for solving it. So when we think of Green's theorem, we think of having to compute the partial of n with respect to x, where n is this function, and the partial of m with respect to y, where m is this function. Notice the line integral written in differential form. So we have the partial of n with respect to x, so we're just differentiating e to the x, so we get negative 2 e to the x sine 2y. And then we have the partial of m with respect to y, so we have to differentiate the uh, cosine 2y. That gives us a negative sine 2y times 2, and if we move the negative 2 up front, we see that these two partials are equal. Not only if we think of this as a vector field, we see that it's conservative, but we also see that we can apply Green or apply Green's theorem. So now we know that the line integral about C is actually equal to the double integral about R of this integrand. But these two partials are equal, so the integrand is identically zero, and the double integral is zero. So as I've noted here, or you could use the closed curve with the conservative vector field. So, so there are often many ways to solve a problem, but what we're seeing here is that line integrals can be attacked uh, by different methods, and usually to make the problem much simpler. And we are done.